So Favola with four goals. And the margin back out to 28. So Carlton certainly answering every Melbourne challenge at the moment. McLean pushed off the ball by Judd. Who wobbles it to half forward. Morton up, couldn't take it. Rivers controls it well. Cheney, Morton, Davey. Chain of handballs, conceding ground, but they get it back to McDonald. Now to Morton. Loops the handball to Bape. He's under pressure. Needs to be clean here. Is to McDonald. So eventually they get out of trouble. And Morton kept going and marks back to the wing. He's a very good player, Carl Morton. Sums the situation up beautifully. Look at that kick. And Sylvia just hit the ground running. Beautiful pick up on the half volley by Robertson, but just couldn't quite maintain his balance. And Carlton are able to whisk it away. Slow motion. Garland can go all the way, way here. Garland elects to go to Favola. Not the greatest of kicks. McNamara tracking the big fev. Garland kept going. Can he find... Oh, no, he let it go. Favola's kicked an amazing fifth goal. Somehow, he found the target. I reckon he was trying to kick it in towards Garland. But Garland shepherded through. And Brendan Favola matches the efforts of Jamar with this, one of the goals of the year. Look at this. Yeah, well played, Jeffy Garlett, too. He could have easily thrown a boot at it. And you'll see Brendan Favola go over afterwards and say, thanks. Jeff, that's handy. I'd like to get five plus if I could. Players do this particular kick around the body. They bend it so easily these days, Tim. It's almost uh, their preferred option. There's a lot of talk after the Melbourne-Richmond game about changes made from the box. James Frawley, who's held Favola so well through a half, has been sitting on the bench. He's just come on. Favola's kicked three goals in this third quarter, at least a couple of them against uh, new opponents. In the last few minutes, it's been the uh, youngster McNamara. Here's Judd for the Blues. Stevens having a better quarter. Judd again. Waiting and goes to Betts. Beautiful kick. Betts on the, the proverbial impossible angle. Hard to believe Eddie Betts is only 22. He's got the wizened face of a 30-something, hasn't he? But he has. He's, he's a, a young footballer. He's got a well-lived in head, hasn't he, uh, Eddie Betts? He's a specialist at least. He decides to oh, bend what? around the corner. Carlton fans love him. He's got a well lived in face. He looks oh, right. older okay. than its years. Right, okay. Chris that. Fev enjoying the moment as he kicked one of the best goals of the year, Michael <laughs> Christensen. <laughs> nah, he's pretty happy with it too. It's Melbourne bringing out of defence. Russell's been very good. Really found his position at half-back for Carlton. Off to Stevens, who's got involved in his third term. Kick to Favola again. Got it 40 from goal. Not happy with the push. He'll go back and try and kick goal number six. Let's see what uh, Brendan Favola does really well. Is he actually protects himself and the space with his legs a lot. Watch what he does this last minute here. Just gets his feet in the right position and doesn't allow the defender a chance to come and spoil. Well, coming into today, he had kicked 74 goals. This to round it up to 80. Six last week against Port Adelaide. And six today against Melbourne for Brendan Favola. And despite Melbourne struggling hard, at the start of the quarter, the margin out to 41. Just sheer weight of talent and numbers. 43 inside, 50 set to count. So not an extremely high amount. No one about 38, but eventually they were going to be too good and too strong and too talented. Nudging it on to Robertson. They need to be quick. Jamar. Now pumps long and Jamar is there with two to beat. Jarrah waiting down. Has he got time? Got to get it onto his boot and curl it. And it didn't quite make it. Touched on the line. Carlton saved by the bell. Any murmurings down there? Oh, 
I think the murmurings are done and dusted, aren't they, Tim? Everybody knows what I think. I think what Melbourne's up to, what their what their main game is. Final term underway. Carlton by 41 points, and uh, you can't blame them for that. Demons ball. Valenti. He goes for Robertson. Be nice to see him bob up with a couple in the last quarter, and he might get one right here if he could get rid of O'Halpin. He's going for. He's going for the goal front, and Joseph is in the way. And delivers to that staunch defender, Eddie Betts. Gives to Russell. And he puts it in front of Simpson. That's a good spoil by, uh, rather, Garlett. McDonald made the spoil well. Oh, beautifully done. Davey from outside the field. I don't think it was an interchange. I think he'd merely gone out of play and pursuing the ball. This is McKenzie. Off to Davey. Wants his left side. You actually Kicks could mother. do that on an interchange, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Put the timing right. Now, Davey is pushed in the back, so he's been involved in a couple of disposals already. Aaron Davey, he's got the free kick. 65 from goal at left half forward. Kicks into the pocket. Robertson working hard. Low down marks on his chest. 45 from goal. Still got some speed on the lead. Russell Robertson, capable of burning off a, a defender still. Played... 11 games and it kicked 23, Chris O coming in to this match. So still capable of getting a goal, Tim. The robertson Jamar double act might have a bit of a future. <laughs> One week anyway. <laughs> well, he's kicked three from just inside 50. Drifting, is it coming back? Oh, oh nearly got big it again. leap from that man, Jamar, but cannon into the post. So behind only to the Demons. That was Davey out of play and then back in, <laughs> out of play, out of the picture. And then uh, back into full view. As I said, uh, if you got an interchange just right with its timing, you uh, could produce something like that in a less orthodox way. About 120 of them a game now, so it's more likely to happen now than it ever was. Right there, Jared. Cameron Cloak, useful contribution for Carlton today. Murphy. Oh, well, that one hung, and Gibbs has gone down hard, and um, so has Robertson. Their legs are tangled together in the middle of the ground. They're both in trouble. It's not Walker, is it? But yeah, it's Walker. Uh, it's I Walker. He's okay with his history. Just here. He's just had a horrible run, Andrew Walker. Okay. Looks like he's just winded. Thank you. Let's have a look. <clears throat> well, all perfectly legal and above board. Robertson just coming very hard and bravely. And Walker didn't flinch. Looks okay. Just keep an eye on uh, Andy Marr on, on Walker. He looks okay. For Vola, meanwhile, lining up for number seven. Currently nine in front of Jonathan Brown. And he takes his lead into double figures. Seven for the day. Committed effort now from both players, and just with what's happened to Andrew Walker in the past, just had your heart in your mouth. I think he's really important for Carlton coming to this final series. He gives him that versatility. He's a great athlete. Good to see him up and about. No car. An adjustment from Feb there. Seven goals for Brendan Favola. And good to see Andrew Walker looks to be okay after that. Heavy clash a few moments ago. And lots of shoulder problems, but looks to be okay. Johnson into the path of Joseph, who Mine. settles over the ball. We'll get a bounce. It's got to be good for him, Darce, doesn't it, to cop a hit like that and get up unscathed? That's got to be a, a good boost of confidence for him. I reckon it does, Murray. I think when I mean, you've had a history of being a little bit fragile, get a good one like that and walk away. It's a good sign. Davey gets boot to ball. Thornton just pushes Spencer out of the way and takes the mark. Back to Walker. Beautiful kick out wide. Carazzo. From the city wing, he kicks to Favola again. Oh, Frawley did enough this time. Off to Rivers. Kick wide in the direction of McLean. Walker arrives first, but not before the ball went over. So a boundary thrown on the city wing with the Blues in complete control. They lead by 46 points.